Well, welcome back. It's the 21st of October. I'm up on the Holdenless coast on one of the south beaches. I'm doing the intro from the van today, mainly because what should have took me an hour and a half to get up here has took me nearly three, so it's pitch black. Don't know if you can hear it, but the rain is really coming down. Um, I haven't had a chance to go out sea fishing for a while. It does seem to have been fishing quite well. There's some cod starting to show now, so that's the target for tonight. There's some decent bass showing still. Um, so yeah, we could uh, couldn't see anything tonight, or nothing at all. Let's just get out there, get set up, see how it goes. So, been to see Mark Tong. Um, if you're ever over on the on the Holderness coast, look him up on Facebook. Look at them for some worms. I mean, look at that. So, I am fishing single hook panel rigs, and I'm just going to fish with uh, one of the rods with uh, just rag on. And then on the other on the other rod, I'm just going for your standard two hook pulley panel rig uh, with a whole squid just lashed on there and uh, see if we can get a card on them. sure if you picked up on that or not on the GoPro but that was a definite first strike for the ragworm Off the mark. Right. Really nice fish. Sit still. I haven't got the GoPro set up on my head, but that is a new PB for me. That is a stonking fish. No idea if you can see this because I literally just slapped the GoPro on my head. Oh, it's got a bit of head knock, this has. Some good weight to it. Come on, Coddy. This is the one with the whole squid on. Here we are. What have we got? What have we got? It's another bass. Another great bass as well. I tell you what, that might go bigger than the other one, you know. Oh, I tell you. 
tonight. I'm glad I braved this weather because, I mean, look at that. Stay still. There we have it. Bass numero dos. Let's get him on up. Well, I wasn't wrong. That one is, that second one is definitely bigger than the other. Well, that's me bagged up for the night. I've only been fishing half an hour. Let's get some more in. Oh no, you're joking. Oh, I'm in again. Oh. oh. I don't even know if you can see this on the GoPro, but. Yep, we're on again. Oh, for God's sake, this is ridiculous. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a jog on. Fishing's supposed to be relaxing, you know. Say I don't even know, this might just be a pitch black video, a load of wind noise and me whittling away. But in case you can't see it, it's about 80 yards down to the waterfront. I'm trying to wheel as fast as I can to keep some pressure on it and make sure we're still on. Where are we? We're not far out now, I don't think. Put up a good little scrap. I think this is going to go as big as the others. But still, well, I'll tell you what, now he's got down in that surf. Put a good little scrap on this continental rod. Just see him out in the surf there. pressure on him, get him into these shallows, get him up, get him on the beach. <laughs> Would you believe it? That cod season is open, baby. Oh, look at that for luck. Oh, well, this is turning into a crazy session. Right, I've got both rods out of the water now. So we need to get cracking, we need to get some baits in the water ASAP. Oh. Are we recording? Still recording. Oh, well, cod season is well and truly Underway, look at that little beard. Oh, baby. So that's it. Two cod, uh, sorry, two bass and a decent cod. Well, there we have it. We've been fishing no more than 40 minutes. Bagged up on the bass, the first cod of the season. Well happy of that. Let's get these dispatched, get some baits in the water. Both rods are out of the water at the minute. Every, it's literally, I might have to drop to one rod. It's absolute crazy. Time is nearly nine o'clock, so it's just just come over low tide now. Should just start coming on the flood on the on the flood. Um, and I'm gonna get these weighed. Let's find the uh, they have all been dispatched. Dig out of here. Yeah, somewhere, and amongst all this mess, there we go. If these have even got any bachelor laugh in them, which doesn't look like they have. Brilliant. 
Well, what a fail that is. Because I am certain that that is a new PB. That top bass. Certain that's a new PB. I mean that is practically straight down the beach at that. Let's go and have a look. This is how far you've got to go to get to the water. I mean this could be a fox that's picked this up. I'd be amazed if this is still actually in the water. Miles to go. Yeah, weird this. Very weird. Unless you go up here and there's a bit of a deep pool, I don't know. Follow me on this magical mystery tour. Soft here. We are still in the water, only just though. See what we got. I mean, there's something doing a bit of. I think this could be a doggy. There's the odd, odd wobble on it, but it's not putting up much of a fight. Oh, it's woken up a little bit now. Come on, show me your colours. Oh, that leader knot's going to get tangled up. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's walk it back a bit. Come on this way, round all that lot. I think it is another bass, you know. Let's just bring it up onto this little bay here. That is another good sized bass. I tell you what, it's probably not far off the same size as the others. Um, well, I am at my limit, but that has swallowed that well and truly. So, what I'm going to do is, oh, it's got line and all sorts in there. Uh, right, let's get it up, let's get up to the top, get this gorger in it. Get the hook out. I might even end up just cutting that hook out to be honest. But, well, you can see where my gear is all the way up there. It's a fair old what yom. Oh, let's try running it. Oh, God, that's soft, soft. Oh. Sorry if you're bouncing about a bit. I might just cut this to when I'm back at the uh, back of my box. Thing is, now we've got another disgorger. Is that one from earlier? It's cut. I don't even know where I've put it. It's always good. Right, uh, let's see. Mate, I'm doing my best here. Work with me. Oh, I might have it. 
Executive decision. I'm not going to get that hook out. I need to put him back. It's a good stock fish, that. Let's just uh, compare him to the others. So, yeah, he is about the same size. Look at that. Alright, let's go and get him back again. It's a fair old run down here. This fish has been out of the water for probably a couple of minutes now let's, uh, oh, let's go for a jog hold on to you, try and keep you a bit steady Whoa, nearly went over in that soft sand luckily as it was raining tonight I figured I'd be better off putting my waders on so at least I can get him into some water Hopefully, I can get him, get him going. I'm biting down on my finger well enough anyway. Come on, pal. Come oh, on, mate, you're going to go. There he goes. Happy as Larry. Managed to borrow a set of scales from the lads next door. So what we got? Let's go for let's go for coddo first. Only cod of the night for me. Just try and uh, it ain't pretty, but it doesn't need to be, does it? Have a look, see what we've got. The scores on the doors are two pound four ounce. Take that, it's not a bad little cod. And then release. Now then, let's see. Smaller of the two bass. Sure, that's on zero. Oh, minus two ounce. We don't want that, do we? To, to, there we go, zero. Right then. Oh, steady. Three pound five. And then, last but by no means least, best one of the night, and I do believe my new PB. Four pound one. I'll measure them when I get home as well. Measure them when I get home, and I'll uh, I'll drop the uh, the measurements in. But yeah, chuff with that. That'll do. Four pound one. New PB. Well, I'm currently sat here in the darkness. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm paranoid that my headlamps are going to run out, or me my LED light's going to run out on me. So. Say in the darkness, it's um, the wind's turned sort of southwesterly now, so it's coming right over the top of that bank. So it's actually quite pleasant to sat here. Got the uh, got me time slightly wrong as well. So I thought uh, I thought low tide was at ten to nine. That was at uh, Bridlington, so I'm a lot further south than that. So um, low tide's actually at ten to ten. So we're ten minutes after that now. It's ten o'clock. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but some stars just starting to make an appearance so yeah it's clearing up to be uh, quite a nice night so there's no word of a lie I've literally just walked back up from casting that rod out I just had a good knock on it already 
This is actual madness. Actual madness. I think that I think that's rubbing over a rock actually. Yeah, I don't think that's bias. I think as I've walked up the beach I've probably got it just tangled around a bit of a rock or something that's rubbing on. Hopefully it'll sort itself out in a minute. Alright, uh, this one's doing some weird shit now. You know, I said I thought it was trapped behind a rock. Well, give it a bit of line and it just seems to take off. It doesn't seem to be kicking much. So, follow the leader down again. Through this soft sand and shit. see what the crack is now it might just be a big old clump of weed I think I'm snagged on something right, before we go any further I'm just going to dunk that Get rid of some of this shit. This is becoming a pain in the arse. Yeah, there you go. Snagged and I think lost all my gear. The biggest question is, have I managed to keep my shop leader on? Part of me hopes not, because it means that this weed will just wind straight off the end. But I don't think I'm going to be that lucky. Alright, let's go short, sort this out, and I'll bring you back. Well, here's one for you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I've been sat merrily, just tying myself on a new uh, new piece of shot leader. And this has all come off the, uh, off the reel and done itself a... Right disservice. So it looks like I'm going to cut that off. Time shot leader on again again. What a pain in the ass. There's a lovely neat FG knot that I've just tied on. Fortunately I'll have to go. Alright. So, I'll tell you what. Hopefully, you can see this on the camera. I've just had a good knock over there. But anyway, I shall show you really quickly. I might show you really quickly, or I might go and look at that. No, I think that's weed. Right. Put your braid stretched across two fingers. Shot leader in your mouth. And this is how I tie my FG knot. And watch this, I've just done it really nicely and this one will be a piece of shit. Anyway, wandering over, wandering over, two, three, four. Twenty-one, twenty-two. Pull it all nice and tight, lay that. On the loop end, now what I do, just to keep everything nice and neatly and in place, is just do a half hitch knot. Through there. Like so. Just stop it all coming completely undone. And then just pull down, careful not to slice your fingers too much with the braid, just make sure it's not all Nicely pulled down onto your shock leader. Lie that all flat. And back round. I can't remember the name of this. Somebody will have to let me know in the comments, but this is how I tend to finish it anyway. Just keep everything nice and neat and tidy. Round the shock leader and the loop and your main line once. Thrice. Oh well, fuck that. 
Hey up. Oh, there goes my knee. I mean, not anyway. Well, I don't think that this is a bite. I'm wrapped up in braid. But I think this is more likely weed. But anyway, it's been out for a while and it's got my heart pumping, so let's go and find out. Just nearly pulled my tripod over anyway. Imagine this is going to be about 15 pounds of weed. I want to say that this is a rake, but if it is, I will be amazed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh well, whatever it is. I've just come off with a right thud and now I have got about a pound of weed oh you bastard oh, well all that excitement for not a lot sorry guys right let's go back to tying that knot as you can see everything would have been lost then if I hadn't put that half hitch in so the fact that I put that half hitch in just means that you can you know come back and sort it out later if you need to as demonstrated quite well so anyway through once like so through twice through three times through four times and then just pull that down so so sitting nice and all I tend to do is just pull this one so that all those wraps sit up here and off your off that and just keep pulling it Pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. So it all comes down nice and neat over the top of your shock leader. Like that. And then grab these scissors that got chucked earlier, so now covered in sand and crap. nice and neat as you want stick that in your mouth give you something to chew on if you're as disgusting as me make sure that, that is the tag end before I end up tying it for a fourth time trim that nice and neat the rest of that up and there you have one rock solid nice neat and tidy FG knot and that's it you'll not get much more streamlined than that one completed FG knot somebody messaged me the other week and says uh, oh, why do you call yourself the awful angler you looks like you do pretty well to me well this is why you've just seen the big bird's nest that i got in because i was busy pissing about with the line and then as i've had my rod sat up on the bank i've filled all the eyes full of mud so whilst my fishing is improving still a dickhead weed became a real pain in the arse over low water i'm hoping that's going to disappear on the flood although with this southerly wind south southwesterly wind um, and an incoming tide I don't think it's going to happen high tide is about 10 to 5 I think but I'm going to double check that um, so what I might do is get my, get my head down for a couple hours set an alarm for half 3 down on the beach for 4 o'clock fish an hour up and a couple hours down and hopefully that weed will have uh, disappeared It's hard not to get excited when you see stuff like this.
but unfortunately the reality is it's just more weed bouncing around in the surf. So uh, we're getting very close to calling it quits. There we go. Weed, 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 plastic. So plastic goes in my pocket. Weed can go. So Oh, I tell you. Wind's definitely had better over me tonight, but it gets cosier and cosier in the back of here. Get a couple hour kip, get back on it. That's so silly. In about three hours. 